All right, hello YouTube. This is Everything Amiibo, and today we are be going we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Ultra Pro Deck Protector sleeves, 50 of them. Um, I just bought these uh, to protect a couple of rare cards that I already have, and since I'm going to be doing pack openings to just stuff um, some uh, rare cards into there in case they get all ruined like uh like old electivire over here um if you can see he's got tape <laughs> on the actual card so he's been taped together very sad that okay so here we go this is it the ultra pro deck protector sleeves and i'm going to be unboxing and then reviewing by way of trying it on different cards. I have specific types of cards here to try out. Um, and we will see what my verdict is. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, so if we start on this side, there's an easy way to open this. I can just pull these out, and all the original packaging is as is, with the very simple tutorial of put the card in the deck protector, believe it or not. Okay, so put that aside. And we've got another layer of packaging here. I just have to... Again, it looks like this might all stay intact here. Yep, that's right. It's not... You couldn't really store it in here, um, but it's all intact. That's always good. Whoa! Ah. So, from the get-go, you're um, protectors, your sleeves, are actually bent. Um, I, I'm i sure they'll be fine uh, in the end, but yeah, so they're already bent from the packaging. This is straight off the shelf from my local store. So let's put most of these aside, and we'll take a look at one of them here. Alright, so it's got that little whoop, focus. It's got a little marking there. Um, let me know in the comments below what in the world that is for. Um, I do know it's for something. Um, oh, I think it's so you can tell that there's a sleeve on it anyway. So, just your bog standard sleeve. You can tell by feeling around that this is the top right here. You can just, you just kind of tell. There it is. So, they look kind of nice. I chose blue because I like the color. The rest of the color is pretty darn ugly. Like this bright orange maybe. Ugh. Um, so let's try it out on a couple of different cards. Um, first, let's go for the pretty much slightly bent, but pretty much mint condition protection cube uh, card that I got about a week ago. So just slide that right in there. Okay, slides in very very easily. Fits in pretty well. It's not perfect. It's got some room there and you can see the blue around the edges I would say that is a negative, not a plus um, blue on the other side and uh, you probably can't tell but it's a little bent but that might be the card, but the, the card pretty much straightens out the sleeve um, and it fits in really nice there uh, you can pretty much see straight through to the, the card uh, get a focus on that, nope Oh, yes, we got to focus. Yeah, you can see through a little bit of glare from the light, but otherwise, pretty good. Okay. Now, let's try one out on the totally and completely dead <laughs> Electivire, who has been brought back to life by a bit of tape over his abdomen. So, okay, open this up if I can. Just pop old Electivire in. The, he seems to be too thick for the sleeve. Okay, that's one thing. Um, I think it's because of this tape here. Uh, let's see if I can. There we go. Okay, he does fit in, so you do have a bit of extra room to. If you see the card is offset right here, so there's actually uh, a bit of extra room right here, so you can put in cards that are slightly larger or offset because you broke them, and they do fit in and it seems to be pretty nice in there very very straight that's good it's always good and of course the glare is the same as the last card okay the last card I'm gonna try 
the final card I'm going to try and put in here is just a reverse hollow. I think they're called. I think that's what they're called. I don't really know. But let's say a reverse hollow Grumpig with <laughs> with his name actually um, a bit scratched off there. <laughs> Grumpolg, maybe. <laughs> um, no dot on the eye there. So. The reason I picked him is because he's pretty bent, and reverse hollows always seem to stay bent. Once they're bent, they're quite persistent, and they bend pretty quickly as well. So, let's put him in there. Um, you can still see some nice shininess through the glare of the plastic, and you can also see the glare over it. Um, again, you can see all the attacks and everything in it. He fits nicely and more bent than the last card. Oop, more bent than the last card. Can't quite see it because it's impossible to get this straight. But it does feel like it would keep him more uh, straightened out. So what I'm going to do is I'll get these two and these three cards, right? Pardon me. Ugh. Um, And in, let's call it two weeks. In two weeks I will do another video to see how they have come along. To see what this, uh, this, these sleeves have actually done to them. So look forward to that and I will give my final final verdict then. But for now gotta say I'm liking them so far. They look good. They are Pokemon blue if anything which is nice and they fit um, any standard Pokemon card really well with a little bit of room if something's off and they show the attacks quite nicely so that is it for this review um, check out my Phantom Forces Aegislash pack opening, the first pack opening on this channel oh, still got the price tag on there and um, yeah check that out for to see what pulls I got from that. I hope it's good. Um, I don't know because that actually hasn't happened yet. I'm doing that next. So I will see you then. Bye.